Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Since the first two worlds are cleared out, I think it's time to start the third world. Of which I call Dire Dire Docks in an early part, but it's actually named Jolly Roger Bay. Plunder in the sunken ship is the first star. The music. It's back. I'm crying tears of joy. I will read while listening to the beauty. That is this artistic masterpiece of a song. They're teaching about the power meter and that you run out of air. <sighs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. Listen to it. All right, let's get moving. <laughs> so, yeah. Water! This is the first time that you'll probably notice that the water, or I should say your uh, power meter there, has a factor in your gameplay because you'd never had to really dive deep down into the water before this point. And so here we go. We're going into the depths of the ocean where a ship just magically appears due to the draw distance. Okay, flop, the fly. Swim in front of Unagi the eel here. I said swim in front of it, not touch it, Mario. And quickly go back over to the surface. It's okay if you take some damage, as long as you don't take too much damage, I suppose, because when you're at the surface of the water, you actually recover your health instantly. Well, not instantly, but I mean, you recover your health enough to the point that it's, um, you know, that you can refill it rather quickly. All right, now the eel will be out of its home and go inside. Now, over here are a couple of treasure chests. I always, always forget the order I'm supposed to hit these chests in. Is it this one? No, that is incorrect. <laughs> is it this one? Yes, and bubbles appear which will let you recover your health. This will happen even if, even if you've opened a chest before. If you fail, uh, the chest will reset. Oops. And you're gonna have to hit them in the same order, so it's a, a trial and error thing. But since you've got unlimited bubbles coming out of these chests, you don't, really, you don't really have to worry about it. I know it ends with one of the middle ones, so that means this has to be the second one. Yes. And the third one is the one that I got zapped by. Oh, and when you hit the fourth one, immediately go to the front of the ship. See up there? See there's a box? Immediately swim for that, otherwise you're gonna have an annoying platforming segment. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to... well, I will... Sh well, actually, uh, okay, I'll, I'll show you what I mean about my shortcut first, just by swimming up there before the ship surfaces, and then you'll have... Uh, let me out! There we go. You'll have a much easier time getting the star, um, but if you start from the bottom, which a lot of people end up at, like here, you're gonna have a much, much harder time doing this. So I'm going to show you how I like to do it if I start from the bottom. And well, maybe it wasn't that hard after all. <laughs> and there you go. That's another way of doing it. And there is the star. Whoop. Here we go! Three coins, high score, yes, world record, back inside. <laughs> the next star is, can the eel come out to play? Yeah, we're going to be meeting up with Unagi once again. Because that eel just loves to be in your way, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, there's some clam enemies around here, but uh, they, for the most part, they just contain coins and one-ups. They don't like actively pursue you or anything like that. Oh, there's a shell. Uh, I guess I'll swim with the shell to show you how that's like. Uh, if I can grab the shell, because no, don't swim up the rock, Mario. Dang it! <laughs> there, no, I want, I want to grab the shell with B button. I missed the shell somehow. Never before have I had so many issues getting a shell. There we go! And when you have a shell, you automatically move forward, so you just use the control stick to move like so. Just thought I would show you this as a little swimming tip. And, okay, let's go down here now. And meet up with Unagi. Oh, I'm kind of low on power, and if I take a hit from it, it's going to be annoying. Because I might die from that, so I'm going to 
surface here just to recover my health and go back down. So, normally what I like to do here is get the star off Unagi's tail immediately. Like, as soon as it pops... Oh shoot, I'm in a bad position. Very bad position. As soon as it... As you can see, the star will come off its tail. You'll be able to get it by touching it. Ah, missed! Ah, no! Ah. Get to the surface, Mario! Uh, he'll go back in his uh, den eventually. So, you'll be able to try it again. Whoop, whoop, nope, 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 nope. You'll be able to try it again from the top. Like, uh, if you attempt to get that star while it's on his tail while it's swimming around like that, you're gonna have a much harder time than when it's just popping out of the den like it's doing... Oh, come on, flip around. Flip. There you go. Good boy. Okay. Come on. <laughs> I just like to hang out in the wall here because it's I find it easier to get the star when I'm, like, hugging the wall. I'm not descending or anything like that. Come on. Come on. Yes! And that's how you get that star. You just have to pick it up. It's right in front of the den. Woo! Here we go! There we go. And the next one, I think... I'm going to have to do another treasure hunt, or I mean treasure chest trial and error thing again. Treasure of the Ocean Cave! So you may have noticed in the other stars that there was a cave uh, in front, I mean uh, on behind the ship, or just way way down at the bottom in general. That is the cave they are referring to. And there are a couple of traps in there that are pretty humorous, so definitely going to be fun getting in that cave. See that cave right there? Yeah, that, that thing. Gotta go inside! I wasn't talking about the Unagi then over there, I was talking about this. If you swim through this ring, you'll get a 1-up! Just thought I would mention that as well if you are into that sort of thing. Uh, there we go. And we got a sign. Keep out! This That means you! Arg! Anyone entering this cave without permission will meet certain disaster! And... <laughs> did you see that? Those, those pillars that are on very, very thin tips, like that are attached with very thin tips, they fall. <laughs> and they always aim directly for you, so those pillars, they have a mind of their own. They are sentient pillars of death. Um, I got the uh, metal cap switch there, which you can use to save yourself from those pillars a lot easier, but I'm not going to do so. Okay. I'm going to read the sign. Ah, ahoy, matey! I have sunken treasure, here I do! But to pluck the plunder, you must open the treasure chest in the right order. What order is that, ye say? I will never tell. The captain. <laughs> That's why I read the first signpost as a pirate. Alright. Which order? Okay, that's one. Two. Three. Alright. Got it on my first shot. Yeehaw! And there's your star. Here we go! Next up is, I think, a red coin one. So, get your treasure hunting gear on. Let's start searching. Yep, red coins on the ship afloat. So, uh, I'll probably get the ones above the surface of the water last because um, the one I need to get on the ship to get the star. So, yeah. Anyway, there's some red coins inside some clams, so you gotta look out for them. Uh, there's one over here. I think there's five underwater, three above the surface. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong though. So there's two. Hey, clam. No! <laughs> ah, clams giving me so much trouble today. Wait, anyway, there's another one down there. And maybe there's four above the surface and four underwater. Sometimes, like, seriously? Gotta get coin. Recover health before clam closes. Uh, that star I'm gonna need the metal cap for. Uh, you'll notice that this game is very open-ended in that you can collect stars 
uh, when you select one star, you can collect stars of different other kinds if you decide to explore the area and somehow come across other stars. But for the most part, I'm doing them in the, uh, the order that the designers intended for the sake of organization in this walkthrough. That's why I skipped out on uh, the Chain Chomp one back when I played the uh, um, Bob on Battlefield. Because I, I could have gotten that one even though I it wasn't selected on there. Uh, I'm not going to talk to that bob on buddy just yet. I'll do that when I have to do the star that requires the cannons. Uh, another climbing tutorial, really? <laughs> anyway, over here, climb up the extremely sharp pole. <laughs> oh, maybe there is four above the... Yeah, there is four above the water. I see the last three on the ship. Okay. So, for those last three, you got to go around... Seriously? Gotta go around here to get on top of the ship, and you can jump your way across or use those uh, blocks to get your way across, but I don't really do that. Look out for that box, it actually hurts you. <laughs> Just thought I would show you that once. And now I gotta get on top. Oh, this stuff. Oh, come on, seriously? No. No. Let me. No, don't crawl. Let me up. I'm begging you. There we go. I knew I could do that. <laughs> there's seven, and there's eight. The star appears over there. There is no shadow star where it appears. I just knew that it appeared here from experience. Nope. No. Dang floating ship. <laughs> yeah! Here we go! Woo. Sweet! Yeah, let's continue. And now, ah, this is the one that I need the cannon for, okay. So what you want to do first, if you didn't activate your cannon already, is go over to the bob -um buddy over here, chat with it, and get the cannon activated. The cannon is right near the start. Uh, you might have actually seen it as I passed by it a few times, or maybe you've seen it and, uh, while you passed by. Uh, thank you, bob -um buddy. See that? That's where it is. And the cannon looks a little waterlogged, but I assure, I assure you, it works. <laughs> so there it is. This inconspicuous rock type area. Get up there, Mario. There we go. Now this is the shot's a little bit tricky here. Uh, you want to aim for those pillars there, but you got to aim at the right trajectory, otherwise you will either fly over them or you won't be high enough to be able to grab onto the pillar that you can actually grab onto. I'm going to try that. Yo! <laughs> That's what I mean about that, is if you hit the wrong spot, you are going to fall in the water. Or just completely miss it altogether and fly to the ship. <laughs> One more try. Well, I shouldn't say one more try. It's however many tries I'm going to have to use in order to get this. Okay. Care no, no, no. Line yourself up with the pillar. No, carefully. <laughs> up higher than before. Because it's a thinner edge. Got it. Okay. It looks like you can't grab onto it because of your velocity, but you can. Um... Can I get to that platform from here? Yeah! Yes, I can. And that is where the star is. Yeehaw! Here we go! And one more star I think I'll do in this part because the 100 coin star is going to take me a lot longer, but I'll be able to do this last star a lot easier. This is through the jet stream. Remember that star at the uh, current area, uh, way, way back in the, well, back of this, this level here, is that uh, you can't, well, I, I think you actually can if you cheat the game a little bit by zooming in just the right way in order to touch the star, but you see that star above that vent? Yeah, current is coming out of that, and it, and it prevents you from getting that star easily. I'll, I'll try just for the fun of it to see if I can get that star without the metal cap. Yeah, the metal cap, because you're so heavy, you're resistant to the current. Let's try it from down here. I'm pretty sure it's possible to do this, like cheating it a little bit. 
Mm. Yeah, I know I'm doing this the hard way. <laughs> I'm just trying that for fun. Alright, I'm just gonna move on here. Grab a couple coins because I've been wasting enough time underwater and I could drown. So over in this cave, once again, if you recall, there... I'll recover my health completely. There is a green block, which of course contains... Eh, Mario! Which of course contains a metal cap. It is right over here. Oh, no! I wanted to do a long jump. <laughs> Okay, so get your camera set up like that way so you know where you want to run. Grab the metal cap. Go, 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 go before it runs out. Go, go, go. Ah. Yeah. Do a long jump into the water and rush, rush, rush. Go, go, go. And you won't have any issues getting the star now because you are extremely heavy. And that takes care of Jolly Rogers Bay, Jolly Roger Bay's main six stars. And with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.